good morning students today session we will discuss about the types of growth you know the previous class we will discuss about what is growth and what are the function of growth you know just you remember one second the what is growth the root is nothing but the root is the underground parts of the plant okay and root is very important parts of plant because the root absorb the water and minerals from the soil you know and the root is always holding that the soil it was the root is always holding with the soil so today's section we will discuss about the types of root okay for today's section we will discuss about the types of root so there are the two kinds of root is there okay ma there are the two kinds of root is there one is the tap root and another one is the fibro root one is tap root and another one is fibro root okay so the first we will discuss about or this the meaning of the tap root see this plan so this is a tap root so the root is a very important part of a plant this keep in mind because the root is absorb the water and minerals from the soil okay and root is always hold the soil okay so this is a, a structure of tap root this is a, a structure of tap root okay what well. so there are the two kinds of root is the one is a tap root and next one the fibro root okay what well. so the tap root means nothing but you know the tap root so nothing but the tap root you know the main root is known as called the tap root you know the main root so main root tap root plus the main root so this is the main root you know this is the main root okay ma so the main root is known as called tap root this is the main root okay ma the main root is known as called tap root okay the main root is known as called the tap root okay and the smaller root also is present in tap root you know the smaller root you know the smaller root also is present in a tap root so this small root you know this small root is present in the similar you know the similar means like the both are equal that is a similar okay ma so that the small root is also known as called the lateral root you know this, this is the small root you know so this is the small root you know this small root is known as called the lateral root this small root is known as called what the small root is known as called the lateral root okay what lateral root so the main root is known as called tap root okay what the main root so this is a main root so this is a main root so this main root is known as called the tap root okay and did you see that the smaller root also is present you know the smaller root also is present in main root okay what well. the smaller root also is present root main root so look like this root is the similar okay what well. so that root is known as called the lateral root that root is known as called what lateral root okay and next one the fibro root the next one what root the next one like that fibro root okay what the next one what kind of root the next one the fibro root okay what so the next one what kind of root the next one the fibro root you know what are the main differentiate between the main root and fibro root you know so this is the tap root you know this figure is show the tap root 
and this is a fiber flow. That is a fiber flow. Okay, well, this is the fiber root. Okay, well. So these root do not have any main root. Okay, well. This fiber root do not have do not have main root. Do not have main root. Okay, well. Just for do not have main root. Okay, well. So this is the fiber root plant. Okay, well. So this root is known as called the fiber root. Did you see any the like, main root in this plant? Definitely, you can't find out that main root. Okay, well. The fiber root means nothing but this fiber root do not have any main root. Do not have any main root. Okay, well. But in some the small root also is present in that main. Main in that fiber root. Okay, ba. In some that all roots, you know, all roots seem similar, and these are called the fiber root. Okay, ba. All root is similar. Similar means that is equal to both. Okay, ba. One more thing, please. Okay, ba. So that all these roots seem similar. This is known as called the fiber root. This is known as called what? Fiber root. Okay. So there are the two kinds of root is there. One is tap root and another one fibrous root. Okay, well. so the tap root means nothing but the main root is known as called the tap root. Main root is known as called the tap root and the small root, you know, and the small root is known as called the lateral root. That is called what? Lateral root. And next one, the fibrous root, you know, the fibrous root do not have any main root. The do not have any main root. Do not have any main root. And the and all root, you know, all root seem similar. You know, all root seem similar. And these are called the fibrous root. And these are called the what kind of root? The fibrous root. Okay. And next one, this is one kind of activity. You know, the separate the separate the beads. You have collected into two groups. You know this is a kind of activity. First, you select the group A and group B. Okay, well. So the one group of students they will collect the tap root. Okay, have you understood? And another one group of students they will collect the fiber root. Okay, well keep in your mind. What is the major differentiate between the tap root and fiber root? The tap root means something, but the tap root will have the main root and small root is known as called lateral root. That is called the tap root. Okay. And the fiber root, these kinds of root do not have any main root. Do not have any main root. And the small root also present like in a similar okay, well, So that is called the fiber root. Okay, well, so one group of students they will collect that tap root, and another one group of students they will collect that fiber root. Okay, wow. Then you observe. Then you collect the both kinds of root and wash it and observe and observe. Okay, wow. So did you find that you know? Just you remember that leaf venation. You know that leaf venation. In our previous class, I thought you know what is the meaning of that midrib and what is the meaning of so, you know so. That is a midrib, you know, lamina. You know, this region is called lamina, and this region is known as called the midrib. Just you remember. You know, now we will collect the two kinds of root. One kinds of root is tap root, and another one kinds of root is fibrous root. Okay. So now, then you wash it and observe the both kinds of leaf. Okay, ba? Well, can you find out the leaf venation? You know. And which kind of venation uh, having the tap root, and which kind of venation having the fibrous root? Okay, ba? Well. So just you remember once again. Okay, ba? Well. Now, do you notice that leaf venation and the types of root in plants related in that very interesting way? Okay, ba? Well. In the book number page number fifty nine, there are so given the table seven point two. Okay, ba? Well. So first, what do you do? First, you write the name of the plant. First, you go to draw and 
pick the plants pick the main plant okay first you find out that what kind of fruit is present that leaves or cap root or fibers then wash it and observe then you find out that what kind of variation having that root like cap root or fibers okay so definitely you know that cap root having that reticulate variation you know the cap root you know so this kind of root having that reticulate variation okay ma the this kind of root having that reticulate variation okay ma so this kind of root having that reticulate variation you know that what is the meaning of that reticulate variation so in each of the leaves like the netflix structure is present in that leaves that is called the reticulate variation like that in each of the leaves the netflix structure you know like the like the this kind you know so that is called the reticulate variation like the cap root you know the this group of root what kind of root the cap root is having the reticulate variation and fibrous root you know and fibrous root having the uh, parallel variation and fibrous root having the the parallel variation parallel variation so the parallel variation is nothing but the both sides are equal the parallel variation is nothing but the both sides are uh, leaves in the base or equally both sides that is called the parallel variation that is called what it is called the parallel variation okay and next one so in the table 2.2 table 7.2 you know so first you write the name of the plants and the types of variation and types of root this is one of the activity whenever you free just you pick the two plants in the ground just you write the name of the plant and you find you know just you write the name of the plant and you write the what kind of variation and just you find out the what kind of root like cap root or fibre okay and next the root are they grow the root is very important part of the plant because the root it always absorb the water and minerals from the soil because the water and minerals is very important source okay ma the water and minerals is a very important okay ma so the root is always absorb the water and minerals from the soil okay and stem you know the stem contact these two leaves have you understood the root you know these kinds of root is so this is a other one but you can't see it in the top of the soil that is present in this kinds of root under ground so that will be called seed okay ma so this root is always absorb the water and minerals from the soil okay and stem and this stem and the stem is contact these two leaves the stem is contact what they are contact means what carry what they are carry like water and minerals carry the stem okay what the stem contact these two leaves these two leaves and other parts of the plant and other parts of the plant so the root is absorb the water and minerals from the soil okay and stem what are doing the stem they are conduct what they are conduct the stem is absorb that water and minerals okay ma conduct to the leaves and that water and minerals is always supplying the all parts of the plant all parts of the plants okay and leaves okay ma and leaves is always prepare the food you know already you know the leaves is always prepare the food okay ma leaves is always prepare the food okay then the food okay ma the food is travel through the stem it is very important the food you know the leaves it can prepare the own food okay ma the leaves is always prepare the own food okay ma the leaves is always prepare the own food okay ma next the food is 
travel the food is travel through the stem the food is travel through the stem and stored in the different parts of the plants and stored in the different parts of the plants okay va wow. so so listen the first root you know the root is always absorb the water and minerals from the soil okay and stem contact this to the leaves the stem is contact with what the stem is absorb the water and minerals from the root okay va wow. absorb water and minerals stem contact to the leaves okay va wow. leaves is always prepare the whole food through the process of sunlight through that process name what photosynthesis you know okay now the leaves also can prepare the whole food okay now what will happen the food travel the food travel through the stems and stored in the different parts of the plants and stored in the different parts of the plant so that's why we will eat you know that root food item and stem food item leaf food items you know For example, you know the root food item, you know the carrot, radish, you know, and the turnip, beetroot. So these are the root food items, you know. So we will eat the different kinds of food item, like the root food item and stem food item and that uh, uh, leaf food item and stem and root food item. We will eat the different kinds of food items. And another one important statement. Do you agree the statement? The stems like the two-way stem. The stems, you know, the stems is like the two-way stem. You know, the two-way stem. You know what does it mean? Why we are saying that the stems is like the two-way stem? Why we are saying that the stems is a two-way stem? Because it is very important that right hand because the stem like the two-way stem. First one. Write down that name of the material to goes up to the stem and what kind of minerals which come down. You know the stems like in the two way state. Why they are saying this like two way state? Make a thing that the stem some of the material is goes upward and some of the material is goes downwards. It because What are the materials? It goes upward and downwards. Like that water and minerals. You know the water and minerals is goes upward, and the food. You know the food is travel in downwards. So that's why we are saying that the same is like the two way state. So that's why we are saying that same is a two way state. Now we understood. So this is about that root. So in this class we will discuss about that uh, types of root. In previous class we will discuss about what is root and the main function of root and some activities also. Okay. And today's session we will discuss about the types of root. The uh, one type the uh, one type of root is dark root and another one type of root is are fibrous root. Okay, ma. So this is the main root and that the root that is the dark root and the uh, fibrous root we do not have any that. Main root so that is called that fibrous root. Okay, ma. That is the very easy lesson. Just you read only. So the root topic over and next class we will discuss about that plant. Okay. Thank you so much.